The sliding door on this Sprinter W906 is sagging and urgently needs readjusting. Before starting the repair, check that the catch hook engages properly. To make entirely certain, the guide wedges should be removed. The door should slide along the body without causing damage to the paint or bodywork. A ratchet driver makes it easy to remove the guide wedges at the top and bottom. While you are at it, remove the lock striker on the C-pillar at the same time. Now pull the end stops at top and bottom tight, so that the sliding door can be adjusted properly. A quick test shows that the door is already moving much more easily. We now proceed in three steps, first adjust the height of the door, then the gap and finally the depth. The height of the sliding door is set at the front first. Loosen the bolts for the sliding carriages at the top and bottom. Raise or lower the door until the correct setting is obtained. Then check the height of the door by looking at the groove pattern. When the groove runs in a straight line, retighten the bolts to a torque of 23 newton meters. At the rear of the sliding door the height can only be adjusted by means of the adjustment screw. Slacken the lock nut. Again refer to the groove pattern to adjust the height. Then retighten the lock nut. Now we move on to the gap dimension. Slacken the bolts on the center sliding carriage so that the sliding carriage can be moved horizontally. Close the door and look at the groove pattern to determine the exact dimension. Again the bolts are tightened to a torque of 23 newton meters. Now for the depth. Slacken the upper adjustment screws until the door can be pushed out easily. Now it is possible to adjust the flatness of the door with respect to the B-pillar. Check that it is flat. The feeler gauge is a great help. Retighten the bolts before repeating the procedure at the bottom adjustment screw. The repair is complete. Now the new settings have to be transferred to the sliding door. First screw in the lock striker. Note, only when it is variable in both the vertical and horizontal directions can it engage cleanly in the guide. So pull the door closed. Press in the back of the door and check the depth. When everything is okay, tighten the lock striker to a torque of 20 newton meters.
Install the guide wedges loosely at first and loosen the opposing parts on the door frame. As with the lock striker, the guide wedges must slot cleanly into the lock. Then tighten the bolts on all four parts to a torque of 8 newton meters. Now check the spring elements of the two sliders. The end stops you screwed in earlier, at the rear of the door, can now be screwed out again so that the door rests on the body when closed. Finally, adjust the two sliding door end stops. To do this, open the door until it catches. Slacken all bolts at top and bottom. Push the end stops to the ideal position by opening the door.